What is going on guys, this is John here of Fresh Computer on YouTube and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how to use the app update library which I created and yeah, that's a library for your Visual Studio project which you can add as a reference and then you can actually use its code to update your applications quite easy. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to use this right now. So. Uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, I set up this form right here, and now the first thing we have to do, we have to add the user, uh, no, not user, app update library as a reference. So just use that on the desktop and hit OK. And now I'm going to add this as a reference right here. And now I'm going to double click the form to create the form one load event. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the using statements and type in using app update lib just like that okay and now what we have to do we have to go ahead and use the class so updater um, updater I'm just gonna call this updater equals new updater and this takes a lot of arguments um, so the first thing would be a URI address which is basically which basically declares where you can download the new version from. So no, that's basically just a tax document you have to store on your folder, uh, on your folder, on your server. Um, I have my FTP server right here, and I created this test directory. And you have my version.txt, and this basically says 1.0.0.0. And yeah, this is basically just going to contain uh, the version. And whenever you have to update your application, you just need to change the version and change the where is it? The um, updater, so the actual application, and then it will actually say, "Yeah, new version, come on, download," and then it's gonna download the new version right here. So that's how that works. And now, what I have to do, I have to access the FTP server. I mean, I don't have to access the FTP server, but I just need to download it. Um, Org, and now it's in my test directory, and now I just need the version.txt. So this is basically the current version of the application, which is stored in that text file on your server. And now you have to declare the app version. So that's actually application dot product version. Now there is basically the file uh, you want to update, and that's basically the current the file which is currently running. So application dot executable path. And then, uh, basically, this is uh, the URI address where you can download the update from. So, new URI. Um, and now let's add... Um, what is it? Let me think about it. HTTP, oh yeah, of course. www.intracode.org slash test. And now the updater underscore test dot exe. So that's the application we want to update. Okay, so now once you've done that, we're going to add to the form one load event, we're going to see if the user um, actually has an active internet connection. So you can do that quite easily. So we just have to use if updater dot um, has internet connection. So yeah, okay, I'm just going to use if he doesn't have an internet connection, I want the I want the program. Um, I want the program to quit. So environment dot exit, and it's going to quit all the processes as well. Zero, bam, just like that. But if the user does have an internet connection, we're just going to do it else. I'm going to see if the user. Um, what is it again? Updater if updater dot update available. And now, if there is an update available, you're going to set the following. You're going to set um, the labels one label one's text equal to just update available. So of course you can use that different way, but that's just an example here. Let's make this code a little nicer. 
now let's use an else statement. Yeah. Okay. And now we're going to use um, label one text. No new version available. And then I'm going to disable the book to the one. Just like that. Okay. And now to do the actual update, what we of course want to do, um, let's see if it works. Real quick. Short work now. So it's going to say no new version available because the application version equals to uh, the, the version um, which is like in the text file on the server. So that's good. And now what we're going to do if the version isn't the same, uh, then of course what we want to do, we want the user to be able to click this button here and then we want to do the update. So updater dot um, and then it's just going to say download update and just like that and now you have actually have to put in here as an argument um, where to store the old version so I'm just going to use the application load startup pass application load startup path plus slash old version dot um, exe just like that okay and now one thing I'm going to add here is actually a timer to use the progress bar which I set up so to do that I'm just I'm just gonna add a timer here timer t and now I'm gonna declare a new timer so timer um, no t equals to new timer then t dot enabled equals true and then we're going to use the t.take event. Let's create this event right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the progress bar value. So progress bar dot value equals to equals to updater dot um, download progress percentage. And then I'm going to do an if statement if updater dot download completed then what we want to do we want to stop the timer so t dot stop and we want to set the progress bar value ah that's actually doesn't matter so just message box dot show um downloaded the update successfully and then we are going to quit the application, so environment.exit zero. Okay, just like that. So now that should work just fine, and I'm gonna show you how that works right now. So we're gonna to go to our properties and change the, go to assembly information and change this assembly version to 0 0.9. That's gonna be our new app version, 0.9. Okay, now it's gonna say that there is, in fact, an update available. Let's see whether that works. Oh yeah, so it says update available. So now you probably won't be able to see this because it just really has about, I don't know, seven kilobytes. And now download update. And yeah, you can't really see that. Download uh, the up downloaded the update successfully. Okay. And now it's gonna quit that. And now let's see here. It says old version. And yeah, this is the old version. So what you can do as well is you can set up an external application or you can say that whenever you start up the update test, it's gonna search for this old version file. And if it's there, then you can delete that. Um, that's what you can do in the code as well. But as you can see, uh, this is really convenient. It's quite fast to um, update your application and do things like that. And yeah, if you want to download that library, then the link is going to be in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. My name is Johnny, I'm on YouTube, and I'll see you later.